Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh First of all, I would like to say thank you uh, for the opportunity that given to us to have a participation in this event. We have one article entitled Fraud Detection Model, an Essential Aspect of Corporate Governance. This article is written by Nuraini Anzib, Nita Erika Ariani, and Rahmawati. We all come from Faculty of Economics and Business, Universitas Syah Kuala, Banda Aceh, Indonesia. As we know that good corporate governance has become a major focus in both public and private sectors, strengthening the governance is needed to prevent various extraordinary crimes from occurring, such as fraud and other financial crimes that have a negative impact on almost all aspects of life. Effective corporate governance result in better oversight and control, thereby reducing the possibility of creating accounting and fraud. Several studies have shown that there is an association between corporate governance and financial statement fraud. Fraud is the latent danger that threatens the world. According to the research, by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. Every year, an average of 5% of the organization's revenue becomes a victim of fraud. As much 6.3 billion US dollar is a loss that caused by a fraud. If we take an average per case, the loss reach more than 2.7 million US dollar. In Indonesia, several media online has published the fraud of financial statement. The first one is PT Tima. The company is suspected in making fictitious financial statement to cover up the company's unhealthy condition for three years. And the second one, Bang Bukopin. Fraud committed by bank management recording modification of credit card data that has been carried out for more than five years with the number of modified credit cards. Many cases of fraud that occur show the implementation of governance that has not been effective. That's why this research is important to do. And the findings said that companies lead on Indonesian stock exchanges are indicated to commit financial statement fraud. And the important aspect of corporate governance that play in an important role in preventing financial statement fraud are the audit committee and the international big four audit quality. Corporate governance mechanisms are responsible for establishing and overseeing to identify and eliminate the cause of fraudulent financial statement by reducing the effect of motives, opportunities, and rationalizations. Prevention and detection of financial statement fraud can be done by prevention, detection, and the corrections. In general, there are three conditions to lead to the fraud. There are pressures, opportunity, and rationalizations. For data and methodology, this research uses quantitative method. The population is 603 non-financial companies that list on the Indonesian Stock Exchange for 2017 to 2020. From this population, we took 344 companies as the sample by using simple random sampling and Slovene formula. The data that used is secondary data, which is financial statement of the companies. This data will analyze by using multiple logistic regressions. And the hypothesis testing will use a wall test. Dependent variable in this study is corporate report fraud. It measured by Binney's model to predict the indication of financial statement fraud. While the aims of this study is to assess whether 
the company's list on the Indonesian Stock Exchange are indicated to commit fraudulent financial statements and examine whether corporate governance mechanism play a role in reducing indication of fraudulent financial statement. This one is the variable measurement for financial statement fraud. We use five index and for each index it has a certain ratio to indicate the fraud or not. To assess whether a company can be categorized as indicated by fraudulent financial reporting, BNIS calculate the effort benchmark index of five ratios as follows. And the result will be seen from the Z-score. If the Z-score more than from minus 1.99, then it is categorized as the company committing the fraudulent financial reporting. While if the Z-score value less than from minus 1.99 is categorized as a company that does not commit the fraudulent financial reporting. The independent variable is corporate governance. It's classified into four mechanisms. The first one is independent board. And the second one is audit committee. The third one, the quality of external audit. And the last one, the institutional ownerships. To test the hypothesis, we use the logic regressions. And the formula you can see in the slide. We have four independent variables, board of commissioners, audit committee, audit quality, and institutional ownerships. While the uh, Y is financial statement fraud. And the result of this research, we can see hypothesis testing result. To determine the effect of Board of Commissioners, Audit Committee, Audit Quality, and Institutional Ownership on Financial Statement Fraud, we use multiple, multiple logistic regressions. And you can see on the slide that it has four independent variables. Board Independent, Audit Committee, external audit quality and institutional share ownerships. From these four independent variables, only two variables that has a, near, a significant effect on the financial statement fraud. They are audit committee and external audit quality. We can see that from the significance. For audit committee, the significance is 0 0.043 while for the external audit quality, the significance is 0 0.037. This significance is under the significance level, which is 0 0.05. Let's see the T-squared statistic value. It obtains 5.062 with the significance is 0 0.751 and because of the t squared count is smaller than the t squared tables it shows that the logistic regression model can be used to predict the financial statement fraud the result of the logic model calculation show that nasal kirky or square of 0 0.045 it means the Board of Commissioners, Audit Committee, Audit Quality, and Institutional Ownership has an influence on financial statement fraud as much 4.4%. And for the simultaneous test results, we can see that the significance is 0 0.022. It means this test is significant. So it can be concluded that the Board of Commissioners, Audit Committee, Audit Quality, and Institutional Ownership have an effect on financial statement fraud. While for the work test, we can see the significance. For the Board of Commissioners, the significance is 0 0.76. 
0.09. This is over 0.05. So it means the Board of Commissioner has no significant effect on financial statement fraud. The result of this study is in accordance with Hasnan and Mahantiran. They said that the Board of Commissioner does not reduce financial statement fraud. The supervisory function on the Board of Commissioner through strategic policies does not reduce the misstatement in financial statements. It also said that in developing countries such as Malaysia, many Board of Commissioners' positions have a negative effect on the monitoring function of the Board due to the potential conflicts of interest and lower commitment of the Board of the Commissioners. This is also in line with the result of this study. In general, there are three conditions to lead to the fraud. There are pressures, opportunity, and rationalizations. We can see hypothesis testing result. To determine the effect of Board of Commissioners, Audit Committee, Audit Quality, and Institutional Ownership on Financial Statement Fraud, we use multiple, multiple logistic regressions. And you can see on the slide that it has four independent variables. Board independent, audit committee, external audit quality, and institutional share ownerships. From these four independent variables, only two variables that has a near as The last test for the institutional ownership, and the result said that has no significant effect on financial statement fraud. The explanation said that institutional ownership in Indonesia is short-term oriented so that it does not provide oversight to company activities and misstatement in financial statement. And we conclude that corporate governance mechanism plays an important role in preventing financial statements. And the mechanism that has a significant role is audit committee, and the second one is International Big Four Audit Quality. The limitation for this study is association testing. So we hope the future research can use a qualitative research approach to examine the role of corporate governance in reducing financial statement fraud. That's all our presentation. Thank you for the attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.